Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got a table with the grid lines as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, these uh, red and uh, blue lines uh, are sitting on the table such that uh, this uh, red line makes an angle of uh, x, whereas uh, this uh, blue line makes an angle of uh, y. And furthermore, uh, each cell in this uh, table is a square that means all these uh, side lengths are uh, equal and now our task is uh, to calculate the angle uh, x uh, plus uh, y and please keep in mind that uh, x plus y angle is between uh, 90 degrees and uh, 180 degrees please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with the two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And in this method, we are going to move around these uh, triangles through translations and uh, rotations. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. This uh, side length uh, is uh, 3 units, whereas uh, this side length uh, BC is uh, 4 units. And now let's assume that angle X uh, and angle alpha are two complementary angles. In other words, uh, angle X plus alpha must be equal to 90 degrees. And here in our case, uh, this angle is X. This is our 90 degree angle and we are going to label uh, this angle as uh, alpha. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green uh, triangle A1, B1, C1. And we got uh, this uh, green triangle by rotating this uh, red triangle A, B, C as you can see over here. So therefore after this uh, translation this angle has become uh, angle X. Uh, this uh, angle has become uh, alpha and this is our 90 degree angle such that uh, this uh, side length of this uh, new triangle uh, is uh, 3 and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 4 units. And here's our next step. Let's uh, focus on this uh, new triangle uh, A2, B2, C2. And we got this uh, triangle by rotating this uh, green triangle uh, this way. And after the translation, this angle has become our angle X. This is our 90 degree angle. And this is our angle alpha. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, 3 units. And this side length uh, is uh, 4 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle. And we know that our angle X uh, and alpha are uh, complementary angles. So therefore, uh, this uh, angle is going to be alpha plus X. That means this whole angle is going to be 90 degrees. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length. In other words, uh, this side length uh, is congruent to this uh, side uh, length. So therefore, uh, this is our isosceles uh, triangle. So that means uh, this uh, angle is going to be equal to this uh, angle. Since this is our 90 degree angle, so therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, A3, B3, C3 such that uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, 3 units and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 4 units. So therefore this is going to be our angle uh, X and this angle is going to be alpha and this is our 90 degree angle. And here's our uh, next uh, step. Let's focus on this whole uh, straight angle this way all the way to this one. In other words, uh, this whole angle is uh, 180 degrees. And we can see that this uh, whole straight angle consists of uh, three individual angles. Angle X, 45 degrees angle, 
and this uh, angle uh, y. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down angle x uh, plus angle y plus uh, 45 degree angle is going to be 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 45 degrees from both sides. This and this is uh, gone. So therefore, our angle x uh, plus y turns out to be 135 degrees. So thus the sum of these two angles x plus y turns out to be 135 degrees. And now let me show you the second method. In this method we are going to use the trigonometry. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC whose this side length uh, AB is uh, 3 units and this side length BC is uh, 4 units. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 3, 4 and 5. If this side length is 3, this is uh, 4 and then this uh, longest leg is going to be side 5 units. And now let's focus on this uh, another right triangle uh, BDE whose uh, this uh, side length uh, is uh, 7 uh, units and this side length uh, is uh, 1. And now let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, longest leg uh, BE. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg uh, as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this side A and this side uh, lowercase uh, B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. A in our case is 1, so 1 square, B is 7, whole square equal to C square. And if we simplify, C square turns out to be 50. And now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root uh, on uh, both sides. So therefore on the left hand side we got uh, C equals to, and if we simplify the right hand side, which I have done over here, it turns out to be 5 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore C value turns out to be 5 times uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore our this uh, side length uh, BE turns out to be 5 times uh, square root of 2. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, BDE. And now let's recall uh, so Cato and we are interested in uh, sine and uh, cosine and for this angle uh, y this side is our opposite uh, this side is adjacent and this longest leg is uh, our hypotenuse so therefore for uh, sine of y I can write down uh, sine of y equals to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse and in our case our opposite uh, is uh, 7 divided by hypotenuse uh, is 5 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and for uh, cosine of y I can write down cosine of y equals to adjacent to divided by hypotenuse in our case adjacent is uh, 1 divided by hypotenuse is uh, 5 times uh, square root of 2 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and in this triangle for this angle uh, x, this side length uh, is adjacent, this side is opposite uh, and this longest leg is uh, hypotenuse. So therefore we are going to find now sine of x and uh, cosine of x. So therefore our uh, sine of uh, x is simply going to be opposite in our case is uh, 4 divided by hypotenuse is uh, 5 and likewise uh, cosine of x equals to 3 divided by 5 and now let's recall the angle uh, sum property sine of uh, angle x plus y is equal to sine of x uh, cosine of y plus uh, sine of y cosine of x and we figured out our sine of x uh, cosine of x sine of y and cosine of y over here. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Uh, in our case uh, sine of x is uh, 4 divided by 5 times cosine of y is 1 divided by 5 times uh, square root of uh, 2 plus uh, sine of uh, y in our case is uh, 7 divided by 5 times uh, 
square root of 2 times our cosine of uh, x is uh, 3 divided by 5. And in these uh, next steps, I have uh, multiplied them uh, and then I have added them uh, and it turns out to be 25 divided by 25 times square root of 2. And here 25, 25 cancels out. So we ended up with the 1 divided by square root of 2. Since we got a radical at the denominator, so we are going to rationalize it. So therefore, we are going to multiply and uh, divide it uh, by square root of 2. And at the denominator, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is simply 2. So therefore, this whole thing uh, turns out to be square root of 2 divided by 2. So therefore, uh, sine of x plus y turns out to be square root of 2 divided by 2. And that could be written as uh, x plus uh, y equal to sine uh, inverse of square root of 2 divided by 2. But we know that sine inverse of square root of 2 divided by 2 is either 45 degrees or 135 degrees. And we know our angle x plus y must be greater than 90 degrees. So therefore, our angle x plus y turns out to be 135 degrees. So thus our angle x plus y turns out to be 135 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.